What is up guys, Chef Q here and welcome to Texas. We just got out the airport like 15 minutes ago. And of course, the first thing that we have to eat is Texas barbecue. We are here at the famous Terry's Black Barbecue in Austin, Texas. Terry's Black Barbecue is the number one barbecue here in Austin. So of course, we have to go check it out, all right? And the weather here in Austin is a little bit gloomy and cloudy, a little bit like Portland. Uh, the temperature feels like it's Portland. <clears throat> it's about a rain, but it looks like there are a lot of people in line and people are still eating barbecue out in the rain. It's just like rain, it stops, the sun shines, rain. Hmm. Yeah, feels kind of like Portland. First time in Texas, so I don't know how the weather is here. It's supposedly be hot, right, and humid, but it feels actually pretty nice right now. Of course, right now it is October, so check out this barbecue pit. Got the barbecue pit here. Barbecue pit master. They actually have a whole big smoker here. So it looks like we're supposed to uh, order our food and then grab a table. So you can't come here and reserve a table. They have signs all over the place telling you not to. There are plenty of tables though. There are plenty of tables. Come in. Yay! All right, we made it inside, but there's another long line inside. Looks like you can buy a lot of things in here, not just barbecue. Yeah, t-shirts, the barbecue sauce, dry rub, hot sauce, whatever it is. We got the price right there. Then we got gift packs, sorry. Oh, right, look, gift packs. We got a lot more room over here. I thought it was just outside. There's a whole placed inside. I guess this is how it works. Get in line, select the size, choose your meat. And then you can also grab a beer and stop over here. All the line. All the beers, all the drinks. Water, wine. Ah. Then you get a pint or a single. That's a price. I don't know, price might change. Oh, it's the same, but can I get the mac and cheese, please? So we got mac and cheese, green beans. Hello. Hey, what can I get you all started with? Uh, does it go by pound or? It's basically like a deli. All the prices you see are by the pound. I can help you portion it off. As well. Okay, yeah. Can I get one beef with? One beef with. Just a little heads up. This is our beef This is how we sell it by. Okay. This is a little bit bigger, it's on the end, but if you guys want another piece, I can get another rack. Kind of small. Oh, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> what? I want a piece! <laughs> what? We can't eat What? <laughs> portion we get to eat other stuff too. Ah, so you cut it and they weigh it. It's by the pound. Do you want pork ribs? Yes. Good. Yes, sir. Yes. We are from San Diego, California. This is the first stop. First stop. You guys try some of those burn ends on the house. Right? Oh, heck yeah. Thank you so much. And brisket. Probably three slices. Three. Oh, for that too. Good. Thank you. 
A little bomb. Out of pork ribs. Uh, turkey. We we actually actually. Wait, no turkey, no turkey, no turkey. No, is that okay? Oh, okay. That's cool. Thank you. Yeah, we got you. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cool. All of our sauces and napkins are going to be at the tables. All right. Awesome. Thank you, man. If y'all are interested, we got free pit tours today. Free what? Pit tours. What is that? Oh, pit tours. Oh, we'll go at the pit. Okay. We'll go out to our pit house and they'll open it up, show you how they're cooking. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're cooking. Okay. Uh, they said they were cooking about 300 briskets today. Damn, yeah. It looks, it looks awesome out there, man. About 3,000 pounds of meat in total. Oh, wow. Is that how much you guys sell per day or what? Uh, it's usually a little bit less than that, but we prepare for the next, for next day. day. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. Sure, like Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Woo-wee. So we got the beef ribs. Ooh, damn. This is just a small one. They have a bigger one, too. Beef ribs. We got the brisket, nice and juicy, mac and cheese, string beans, cream corn, coleslaw. Also gave us some pickles and onions. All the sauces are right here at the table. So if you eat this and then you're not full, you want to get more, you can actually skip the line uh, and go straight to them and get more. Uh, so you don't have to get into that long ass line again. Yo, this beef ribs is so tender. I can like pluck it out with my finger. Look at this. You see that? And it's so juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. I'm gonna buy it tonight. Ready? God damn. Just falls off the bone, so tender and so meaty. Look at that flair up there. Mmm, that's bomb. And the, that beef rib, though, Woo it's the ribs and then this much of meat on top of it. A lot of the other beef ribs that we've had before, the barbecue beef ribs, there's barely any meat on top, but this is like a full beef, thick ass piece, too meat on top that's a 10 out of 10 easily easily 10 out of 10 smoky tender very flavorful falls off the bone so juicy oh they got all, all, all types of hot sauce i think from mild medium and spicy right here original spicy and sweet original spicy and sweet this piece of meat this piece of meat is a it's an artwork it's so juicy A thick cut, they cut it really nice. Wow, brisket. Mm. Oh my god, yo, this is the best barbecue I've ever had. This, this is like the, the tenderest brisket, the most juiciest brisket I've ever had. 10 out of 10 awesome. Mmm, so damn good. Let's try the sausage. Hey. Uh, sausage. Jalapeno cheese sausage. Mmm. Mm. Oh, damn. Sausage is really good too. But I can't outperform the brisket and the um, the beef ribs, so I give it a nine out of ten. <laughs> and the sides too, the sides are excellent. Usually I don't really like sides, but these are just different than what we had in like California. They're just 
It's like two times better than what we had in California. Maybe even three. Terry Black's Barbecue. Definitely a must stop when you're in Austin, right? Even though the line is pretty long, I think it took us like uh, 30, 40 minutes to actually get inside and order. But it's all worth it. While you're in the line though, there are bars and stuff on the side so then just, you know, grab a drink. While you're in line, it even goes behind the barbecue pit uh, where you can actually see where they cook all the meat. Just make sure you put enough money in the parking meter <laughs> when you come here, at least a couple hours. Lots of souvenirs and other uh, items for you to actually buy and take home too. Uh, like t-shirts, even uh, sauces, flavoring, dry rub, you name it. This is a very good choice for a first stop here in Texas. Let's see what else Texas has to offer besides barbecue. Right?